Hey, what's up guys? Random Comic here. I got another sector control game for you guys, and uh, while I'm speaking, I'm actually downloading the Medal of Honor new DLC with like the hot zone and whatever that other one was called. I forgot what it was called, but I'm downloading those, so I thought I'll do a quick commentary in between while I'm gonna upload that. And I'm really excited to actually play because I heard that finally the patches have come out to make sniper rifles kind of weak, and also all the, you know, recoil and all that was added to the guns. And I actually purchased the, the DLC that costs like ten dollars, and I don't really see uh, see a problem with that because to me, like ten bucks turns into five dollars, which then can turn into like two dollars. Because I sh I usually share my uh, account with like my friends and family, so to me it ends up only costing a few dollars because so many people keep on downloading it, and then they'll just give me like an extra buck, just be like, hey, thanks for letting me download that. And I don't see really a problem with that. And I really want to try playing it. I've seen that. I don't know why they're charging for downloadable content already. It seems a little bit too early for that, but to me, ten dollars isn't that much. I'll spend ten dollars. I mean, Modern Warfare Two map packs, fifteen dollars for a couple of maps and a couple of revamp maps. I really don't see a problem with that. And the one thing that's kind of interesting about this gameplay, it is a pretty good game, but one of the players in there was absolute beast. I gotta say, there's this one guy, his name is like Uncle Vlad or something, and I finally realized this dude's skill level was like 5,700, and he was like 30, number 35 in the world in skill, which I was amazed by, and we were playing against this guy, and I got 100% honest, if this dude uploads to YouTube, this dude would be one of the best guys I've ever seen. He literally raped my team, he stomped my team, he, he put up 60 something kills, and I was like, holy shit, this dude is awesome like <laughs> he literally I was doing well so for me in this game just to be able to like stomp right back at him and like just shove a cruise missile up his ass I was so glad to be able to do that but I was just so amazed at how well this guy was doing I mean like I was like wow I'm playing one of the best players in the world right now and he is totally just like his numbers don't lie this dude is that good and to be able to play with him was awesome but I can't wait to actually play you know Soon as I'm done with this commentary, I'm gonna get some uh, good gameplay, and I'm gonna play all the new game modes and uh, see if the word of what EA said is true. How they redesigned uh, Kabul City Ruins and uh, the Woggle Camp. I'm really excited to see what they actually changed to those maps, and if it's actually a noticeable difference. Because I feel like I'm gonna play that map, and I'm gonna run around just trying to find what they changed, and I won't even be able to find what the hell they changed. But from what I can tell, man, that one game where, like, there's uh, three lives and best of three wins, that game is going to be awesome. The one thing I don't like is the, I mean, it's going to be, it reminds me of, like, a search and destroy game where no respawns makes it really intense, and I'm picturing that making uh, camping even more happy. A lot of people are going to be happy campers just because, I don't know if I've seen that or not, but was there actually kill streaks in there? I swear I didn't see kill streaks, but... I might be mistaken, maybe the guy I was watching that did his first impressions was just not very good at the game. But, from what I can tell, the sniper rifles look really good now. I mean, like, it's actually uh, not going to be that great being a sniper, which is awesome, because sniping in this game, everybody knows, is the easiest thing to do so far that I've found. And, using uh, anything else, like a SMG, or the rifles, were just like kind of second to that. And I'm kind of glad that they switched it to like a more of a Call of Duty style where it's more of uh, assault rifles against submachine guns. So whenever sniper rifles dominate a game, I, I really think it just makes the game so unbalanced. I mean, snipers, oh yeah, one-shot kills, they deserve their one-shot kills. But make it show those one-shot kills are at a reasonable distance. And hopefully, me saying this, it's already fixed in the patch and I, you're going to tell, Random Comic, shut the hell up, they patched that no reason to complain anymore but until I do that's what my impressions are of this game and the way that this game has evolved it's totally been like that the first night I played was so much fun everybody was running around until everybody found out use the bolt actions and that totally flipped the whole place out of this game into a camper happy and pretty much 100% spawn trap which is fine for me but at least make it kind of like skilled like if you want to camp all right make sure that guy is not having that one gun that's like the thunder gun or whatever the hell you want to call it whatever the hell that gun is 
World at War MP40 and Jug, that's the gun to use in that game, you know, COD 4, M16, Red Dot, that's the gun to use. This game, I hope it changes. I don't want to see those bolt actions be the number one gun anymore. I want to see somebody say, the guns are 100% balanced. If you use the sniper rifle, you're going to do just as well as somebody using the shotgun. And in that case, make the shotguns a little bit more powerful. Make the range on those things a little bit higher. I would love to see that. Because anytime that... Here's a nice situation. Uh, I heard that all the points are cut in half, which I'm going to struggle with, man. Because honestly, if they actually bump the score also, I mean, you're going to have tons of time to build all your score chains up, which is great because... One of my friends was always saying, he's never gotten a cruise missile yet. He was like, great. We got so much more time to play, I might actually have enough time. He would always get a high kill streak and never actually get a chance to see what happens with it. And while I'm talking, I, I'm actually going on a pretty nice tear. I'm getting a few multi-kills with all of my like strafing runs and my airstrike. And I kind of like how all the scores are going to be bumped up because exactly what I said, there's some people that will never be able to get a cruise missile now. As soon as I heard that, I was like, telling all my guys that record and all my friends, like, man, if you want to get a cruise missile, get it before that patch comes out, because you're going to find it impossible once that patch comes out, because all the kill streaks are going to be cut in half. You're going to have a hard-ass time trying to do that. And I call my cruise missile right here, and I freaking die again, man. I cannot survive a cruise missile. What is the range on that thing? I don't know. <laughs> I cannot find a good decent range on that thing where I can actually survive. I thought that was a good range and I end up still dying. But that's the one thing I got out of this video. I was just like, alright, I'm going to talk about that guy that's crazy, like top 50 in the world and felt great to freaking cruise missile his ass. But that's the, oh yeah, another thing I like about that score being buffed up. I don't know if anybody's really played sector control that much, but man. You can come back in an instant. If you dominate, the other team ain't gonna get shit for points. I think the other team, even if you're dominating, the team, the other team will actually still get more points. Which doesn't make sense to me because you're dominating them, but they actually do give you a few extra points, and I'm gonna like those games where you know you can actually I'm actually jumping around in enjoyment right there because I got the cruise missile, but <laughs> I'm actually gonna like how games will actually be able to turn around, but then the one thing I won't like being spawn trapped in a lobby that lasts even fucking longer that's gonna be painful but I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video uh, as soon as this is over I'm playing all the stupid downloadable content let's see what the hell this is all about but other than that guys uh, I hope you guys have a good day or night depending on when you're watching this and I'll see you guys on the game peace